monasteries ahead. I wonder if it is still safe. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. What's going on guys, this is Hush and I've been starting a new game on um, Lords of the Fallen and I'll be playing through um, the Solace Magic set and the Warrior Class build and I'm actually quite excited to play through the Warrior Class build because I've actually never played it before, I've only played through, I've only had like a Rogue and Cleric build, that's the only builds I've ever done, I've never done Warrior because of how slow people said it is but we're out to find out really aren't we? And um, I'll be playing have the Solace Class and actually the Solace Class I'm quite happy to play through as well because I've only had through the Red and the green and uh, actually the green was actually very disappointing I didn't actually enjoy I didn't actually help you out very much for having in the new game plus but um, I'll be using through the blue because that's actually probably one of the best actually because most people when they start the game they use the red magic set anyway so um, yeah I'll be just playing through um, Lords of the Fallen just talking about the lore maybe other stuff what's going on maybe upcoming events talk about the lore and just just Lords of the Fallen really and um I'm quite and I'm enjoying Lords of the Fallen at the moment, as you probably know, seeing as how like all my videos, my channel has exploded with lots of Lords of the Fallen. And um, as you can see here, I'm actually failing at destroying this um, Rogar because he is quite hard. Because I haven't actually ever played. Well, he's not hard, but the, the Warrior set I'm actually quite failing with anyway. So uh, I'm not actually doing very good, as you can see. This is my first playthrough using the um, Warrior set, and um, I probably will end up changing it, the armor around and whatnot. But um. Yeah, so um, talking about just Lords of the Fallen lore in general, it isn't actually that hard to figure out the lore because it isn't like Dark Souls or something when um, they have to like you have to figure out the lore for yourself. But in this game, it actually is brought right to you. You know what's going on. You know the character. You know Harkin. He's done this bad kind of. He's done this bad shit, and no one knows really. No, it's never really told to you what Harkin actually ever does. Is it? It's never actually told you what he's actually done, but you know he's done some pretty bad shit and everyone hates him, except from Kazlo. He freed him from jail, he wants you to, I don't know, fight the Rogar because you're probably the best and their army soldiers or whatnot. They're not doing a good enough job anyway to do it, which like they're fucking badasses, the two-handed armor people, the warriors, are actually doing quite a lot of job. Because they do quite a lot of damage on you when they turn on you, spoiler alert there, but I'll be ta I will be talking about um stuff, spoilers, so yeah guys, if you want to turn on this video now, I'll probably will be talking about spoilers but it's just it's probably minor spoilers that if you haven't already completed the game it's not very that long it's only differ from about two to three hours or something like that it isn't it isn't long you won't have as much trouble with it you won't have as much trouble as dark souls so it, it will be quite easier if you're new to this whole rpg series it could be quite hard for you because some of the bosses aren't like in dark souls they just hide behind the shield some of them some of the like and some of the bosses aren't actually like that, but most of them are at the beginning of the game. The two hide behind shields and stuff like the first and the second one and the third one. But when you get to the end of the game, there is like these lost brothers, frog people, who actually are quite hard because once you kill one of them, and then you die you have to kill them two again because one of them doesn't die. And it is actually quite hard because they are quite powerful and you kind of have to figure out a way to do it. I can't remember how I did it but I'm really not looking forward to do it, doing it again because it was quite hard but also it is quite fun as well and there is a crafting like I've talked about in the game you can use runes to open up like like gates and like chests and whatnot so there is actually a crafting thing in the game. I have already talked about this I'm sorry but it is one of the cool, coolest things in the game is like poison resistance and it actually hits your enemy it takes off the poison as we go along and um, for uh, the actual game itself it's pretty nifty price at the moment it's probably around about gonna be about 50 to 60 dollars or in the UK about 40 to 50, uh, 40 pounds or to 50 pounds or something like that but also a game that's actually coming out next week because we've actually already seen from Grand Theft Auto 5 having um, 
third person, um, first person or something, it actually looks really, really great. But I won't be playing. I don't really want to spend another. I know that I know it's next gen and new better graphics, and the new first person mode has actually wanting more people to buy it again. That's probably what um, Rockstar have um, set out the first person mode for people who've already got the game that they'll have this new feature and want you to spend it again, which is a good enough reason to get GTA 5 anyway. But it's also coming out. That's coming out on the 18th of November, which is in a few days on Tuesday, and also the same day that's coming out, Far Cry 4 will be coming out, and that's another game that I'm really looking forward to. I think I'll do videos on that, probably do a little bit, not as much as I've done with Lords of the Fallen, because Lords of the Fallen is more of a linear game you can do videos on, but I might do, Lord, um, sorry not Lords of the Fallen, Far Cry 4 gameplay on my channel, if you want me to do that, I will probably do that, but um, I've also got other um, content for Lords of the Fallen still coming out, like I've, I'll probably um, make another lore video, the Dimensions lore video, I know on um, those videos, I don't know if you'd like them or not because they haven't been doing that great but also they've been doing not that bad either, I don't know, the, the Cypher DLC video did um, a little bit better than my other um, Alien Isolation videos, but um, I will be um, producing another lore video because I know you guys like that and also other content that's going on in the game like there's a new DLC that's been announced by um, the creators of um, Lords of the Fallen I've forgotten what the company is now but they have actually um, announced that there's going to be new DLC coming out around about early um, December or late December or something but we're already seeing new content for because the game was actually that short and was that not as long so yeah guys this is Hush and I've uh, probably over talked this a bit so this is Hush um, like subscribe